Okay, so my name is Daniela Mendoza, and the book I read is Bright Shiny Morning by James Frey. And, um, do you want to? Okay, and the story revolves, uh, revolves around like five different characters, and it's like, and each character, like each story, it leaves off, like it keeps you thinking. Every, after you read like a certain part of a different character, it just keeps you wanting to learn more about the next character. And you really can't because you have to get to the next character. So like, yeah. Um, one of the first characters, and I'm, I'm, they're not in order, but the first characters are these two. It's Dylan and Maddie. And they're, they're this 19 year old couple. And she gets beaten by her mom. So they run away. And he just picks her up in her truck and they just run away. And they, they go to LA. And in LA, they don't have a job. He has a couple, he has money saved up because he was planning it for a while. And um, they just go there and they get jobs. And his, her struggle is just to just get a job and get through the day and then just get through the day. And, and they live at a motel for like the longest. And um, Dylan, he gets, he goes and he gets a job as a mechanic at like a motorcycle place where they fix cars and motorcycles. And he doesn't realize it's run by like a motorcycle gang. And it's kind of like the mafia of motorcycles, I guess. And yeah, so he gets involved in that and things happen with that. And yeah, and then later on his girlfriend gets pregnant. And so yeah, so you kind of know how that goes. And um, the next person is Amberton Parker. And he's a movie star. And what I liked about it, it just really brings you into the life of what it's like to be. Like, the way he is, is he's like in the closet. And it shows how he, his, how his wife and everyone, how he uses like everyone as a cover up for him. And throughout his part in the story, it shows how he's um, chasing after a football player, like this famous football player. And it shows him like fall in love with this football player and how he doesn't, how the football player like, at some point realizes, oh my god, like, you, I'm not, I don't go that way. And so, um, so yeah, it shows him how he falls in love, and it just really shows about how his family and everything, he has kids and everything, and it just shows how he covers it all up, and how, like, yeah. Um, the other one is Old Man Joe, and he's a homeless man, and since he was little, he was obsessed with alcohol. It was a certain type of alcohol, I just don't remember what it was, but he was just obsessed with it, and to him, that was, like, that was like that's his thing and um so later on he leaves everything and he just he's homeless for a long time and he lives in uh, he lives in a bathroom that like a taco man outside of his place um, owns and he just lets him live there and um, his part of the story is really like inspirational in a way because it really shows what happiness is to other people it may to um, to other people it may seem like oh like he just he's just homeless nobody cares about him this and this but like to him he's happy and so i think that was really inspirational for me um and another one is esmeralda and i really um i like i really connected with it because her whole family was an immigrant like immig they were all immigrants and so um what she has to deal with is she's the only one person in her family that act that actually gets through school and actually gets a scholarship to go to college and she's just really self-conscious about a lot of things. And um, she, her whole family, her and her mom, they turn into maids. So I don't know if anybody knows this, but a lot of Mexican women, well, generally when you come from Mexico, you work in different houses and you work for people. And so that's what they, they went in and did. And it just shows how, like, how she finds love with the, the owner of the house. The, not the owner, but the owner's son. The owner's son, she like she falls in love with him and it just has this whole big old thing going on because the owner of the house is racist. So it just has a lot of